Good Friday morning, everyone. How's it going? We made it to the end of another work week. Hope you're doing well. We got some football stuff to talk about. And I said football for a reason, not necessarily Seahawks related, uh, tangentially related, I guess, but not really. I wanted to take a breath from Seahawks talk for a little bit here and talk about something a little more frivolous. And looking at these... Uh, playoff games coming up over the next couple of days here, one thing that I noticed is that the final eight teams in the NFL are a little low on former Seahawks players. And I know it's kind of a silly thing to look out for. I know it's kind of a silly thing to talk about, but uh, kind of feels like maybe that has something to do with the fact that, you know, uh, that that's kind of correlated to the fact that the team is not where they used to be. I remember in the... Uh, 2013, 2014, 2015 era, our former players were just percolating all around the NFL because our roster was so good and so deep. We had plenty of quality players that just couldn't get a foothold in on this team or couldn't be afforded so they would go somewhere else and have success. Like, uh, <clears throat> uh, I, I think one good example, even though he didn't last long, was Spencer Ware. He was a late round draft pick for us at running back. And we were so deep, we, we didn't even have room for him on the roster. He never played for us. And then he went to Kansas City and actually had one good season. And for a while, it looked like he was going to be one of the next big NFL running backs. He got hurt. And, uh, shoot, was it Kareem Hunt who took... I can't remember exactly. But, uh, you know, stuff like that, you don't see that as much anymore. I, w I was looking at these uh, playoff games. There are not a lot of former Seahawks involved. Uh, a lot of them got eliminated last week when the Raiders lost. The Raiders had a few former Seahawks, and the Cowboys, too. Uh, the Cowboys had um, e even Dan Quinn, former Seahawks coach. So I was looking at that, and also I want to use this video to ask people, with that in mind, who are you rooting for for the rest of the playoffs? Which I know is kind of a thing that a lot of football YouTube channels ask at some point. It, 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 it's... It's a little bit of, it, it's probably something you've already answered at some point in your life on Twitter or another YouTube video, but are former Seahawks players something that you're rooting for at this point? Um, like tomorrow, there's one former Seahawk, to my knowledge, involved in the two games. Uh, Trey Flowers on the Bengals is it. Nobody on the Titans, Niners, or Packers. Nobody on the Rams. We do have Pierre Desir on the Bucks and Richard Sherman, but Sherman's not playing. So the Chiefs are really our only saving grace. Yeah, the Chiefs have uh, Frank Clark. They have Jerron Reed. So half their starting defensive line is former Seahawks. Uh, they, they also have Josh Gordon. Now, he wasn't here that long. Of course, neither was Pierre Desir. So I don't even know if you really count that. So in the grand scheme of things, the only former Seahawks who you can really take seriously who are involved this uh, weekend are Trey Flowers, Frank Clark, and Jerron Reed. And I don't know, I, I just couldn't help but look at that and reflect on the fact that we used to really kind of, if you looked around the league at the end of the season when the playoffs were heating up, you would see a lot, it felt like you would see a lot of former Seahawks on a lot of these teams. And even like the, the, um, regular season you would look at some of these other teams you would see a lot of former Seahawks because of a lot of our players were good enough to be in the NFL but not um not good enough to uh not good enough to play for this team because we had a ton of talent at that point if you were a cornerback back then and you weren't as good as Richard Sherman or Byron Maxwell or Brandon Brown or whoever the other guy was or or Jeremy Lane or at one point Walter Thurman the third it, it was just hard to break in it was hard to break in if you were a linebacker here, it was hard to break in with Bobby and KJ taking all the snaps. So even among the lesser teams in the league, you would look around and be like, oh, there's Golden Tate making the Pro Bowl for the Detroit Lions. Uh, there's, uh, shoot, uh, I think Walter Thurman went to Philadelphia and had a couple good years before he uh, surprisingly retired. Um, I, like I said, the Spencer Ware thing, that was a guy who literally couldn't do anything on this team, and then he goes somewhere else and actually... Looks like he, he's a decent player. So, I don't know. It's just something that I noticed as I was looking through this slate of games. A lot of our former players who were in the playoffs were eliminated last week. Raiders and Cowboys. 
And yeah, so basically, who are you rooting for the rest of the way? Just just answer down in the comments. I don't know. I can't think of anything more creative right now. Um, and and why are you rooting for them? Do you have a particular reason for it? Um, I hate to comment farm, but eh, give me one for this year, right? <laughs> Um, so for me, I am actually going to root for the Chiefs the rest of the way because they do have Frank Clark, who I like. I like Frank Clark. Uh, he, he did his job while he was here. Um, no hard feelings when he left. And beyond that, I like uh, Patrick Mahomes and I like Andy Reid. Andy Reid's one of my favorite guys to ever be involved in the NFL who never passed through Seattle. Um, big fan of him when he was in Philly and big fan of him now at Kansas City. I love the I will love the way his mind works. I love his offenses and his class act too. So, yeah, the Chiefs are the team that I am rooting for for the rest of the way. And let me tell you, other than that, like I mean, I'm good rooting for the Bengals, right? Because I, I wouldn't call myself a Trey Flowers fan, but I always felt like he got a bad rap in Seattle. People were a little too harsh on him. People were a little too critical of him. I don't think he was as bad as a lot of people think. I still don't. I know he's not really a good player, but he kind of became the pinata for every negative thing that happened to this team on defense. Everything was his fault. Uh, but the Bengals, obviously a fun young team. It'd be cool if they won. Titans, um, I, I mean, it would be different, right? You, you look at some of these teams and you see guys who haven't won before. Like uh, the Titans uh, have never won a Super Bowl. Bengals have never won a Super Bowl. The, the Bills have never won a Super Bowl. If, if you see these teams win... It, it would be fun. Other than that, though, I, I, I mean, right now it feels like we're basically playing, um, we're going to be kind of, for, for me, maybe this isn't surprising because I root for an NFC team, but if you really look at it, it's like all four teams in the NFC are teams that I do not want to see win the Super Bowl, and all four AFC teams I would totally be down with. Uh, we have three teams that have never won a Super Bowl, and the Chiefs, who, as I already said, I like because I like a lot of the pieces involved on that team, but... Uh, uh, you know, I don't want to see Brady and Bruce Arians win another Super Bowl. I, I can't stand either of those guys, honestly, Brady. And really, Bruce Arians, I feel like uh, some some people might not totally remember because the Cardinals were only good for a couple years under him, but he was the most obnoxious. He, he might be the most obnoxious former NFC West head coach. Right there with Jim Harbaugh for me. I, I, I could not stand that guy. That guy was the worst. Uh, Rams 49ers, no explanation needed. And, you know, I love watching Aaron Rodgers play football, but there's no way I can root for him. I love Devontae Adams. I, I like Matt LaFleur a lot. He's a, a, one of these young coaches who I'm also a fan of. Seems like a cool guy. I like the way he his offense flows, but obviously can't really root for the Packers. So, yeah, that, that's basically the rundown of it for me. Maybe, maybe that's kind of typical, but um, while we're here... Of the four teams in the NFC who could make the Super Bowl at this point, uh, I guess I would probably be pulling for the Packers because I do have a, a ticket on them, actually. I, I do have a bet slip on the Packers winning the Super Bowl. And I have one on the Chiefs as well. So if they could both make the Super Bowl, that would probably be best for me because either way, I'm walking away with money. But uh, yeah, let me know who you're rooting for the rest of the way and why. Are you rooting for the former Seahawks players in the playoffs, maybe? Is that something that you do? Um, yeah, just just put it down there. And um, I will see you guys later today. Peace out. Go Hawks. And I guess go former Seahawks players who are in the playoffs, except for Pierre Desir because he never played, basically. All right, see you later.